Aloha and welcome to Life Journaling and Dash for the 28th of October 2021. We're your hosts and I'm David. Next to me is Hana. Across the table we have Ollie who's helping with the keyboard and you Bella. Today's readings come to us from Job 20 and also Mark chapter 3 and 4 and it's called Grow Today and we'll get to that in a moment but my bride would you lead us in a prayer? Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for the rain that's going to make things grow. Thank you, Lord, for your word, for explaining your word to us. And we ask that you help us to grow in Christ. Amen. Amen. Today we are parked in Dow Creek, which is really Hood Sport. Hood Sport. And we'll check out their coffee shop and ice cream place later on. Thank you, Angie. Angela. <laughs> um, today I pulled from Mark. It's the verse 18, but I didn't mark it as Mark 3 or 4. It's Mark 4. Mark 4. Okay. So in Mark 4, verse 18, it says, Still others, like seeds sow among thorn, hear the word, but the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desire of other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like the seed sown on good soil, hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop, some 30, some 60, some 100 times what is sown. Observation today, Jesus is teaching by telling stories, also known as parables, and saying in Mark 4, verse 23, if anyone who has ears, let them hear my application. I personally love this parable of growing seed because Jesus explains and even says, this is what the kingdom of God is like. I want to get deeper in the word so that I have strong roots. I want to follow God's way so that as seed I may grow, be part of a good crop. I know that I don't want to be one of those choked by the worries of this life, and I know I must give a lot of that to the Lord to handle. My prayer is, God, I thank you for giving me ears to hear and eyes to see. Help me to recognize quickly when I need to give things over to you. Give me strength to hand them off to you. Help me to be fruitful with my time here on earth. Amen, Pastor David. Interesting. My verse is Mark 4.18. That explains why you know what I was doing. Because <laughs> we don't talk about this we journal separately and then we come together and that's how a life group is that you can read what you're reading and they can read what they're reading and then you compare um, so what did you get out of it well the uh, verse 18 and 19 still others like seed sown among the thorns hear the word but the worries of life the deceitfulness of wealth the desires for other things come in and choke the word making it unfruitful my observation jesus just told the crowd a parable and now he is explaining it to his disciples this parable is like the visual of the golf ball sand and mason jar if you fill your life first with golf balls such as reading god's word reading god's words daily praying small groups church And then fill your life with like sand um okay i'm sorry we had a dog who edited for me and i'm working through that um if you fill your life with sand such as work watching tv shows or watching movies or video games or computer games etc You'll not have time for the golf balls because they won't fit in. Thank you for editing. There's nothing wrong with the activities that are equal to sand. But if you fill your life with these things and not God's word, the truth, God's word, which is the truth, which comes from the Bible, this is interesting. It's hard to follow, which is, I apologize. So basically, I'm going to 
talk about what I wrote. All right. So here's the jar, which is your life. And here's your golf balls. And your golf ball is reading God's word daily. Or rocks. Right. Um, or, and then it's praying. It's going to church, which I do online. Um, and a small group. And a small group because we share our journaling and we talk about how to grow in Christ and we encourage other each other when life is really hard. We also belong to a small group that meets as well. Right. So then I start pouring in other activities, which is the sand, and those activities could be watching TV, Hallmark Christmas videos. <laughs> um, it could be... Um, what just watching plain TV? It could be what playing video games or computer games. Then all of those things fit in to the jar, which is my life. But if I have my life and I fill it first with other things, such as Hallmark, watching TV, uh, playing computer games, which I love doing, then when I go to put in the the golf balls, they don't fit. There's not room. So. Um, if I can't fill my life with the things that are from God, when life happens, it's too overwhelming, and then I don't become fruitful for God's kingdom. My application, please do not edit. One thing I love about our church is that they believe there must be a balance. God, family, and church. This is important because I grew up where God and church came before family. My relationship with God is important, and I need to spend time with Him daily. I need to be involved in a small group who supports and helps me grow in Christ. I need to attend church services, which I mentioned I do through the internet, and I need to encourage others. But just as important as these, I need to take time for my family. My prayer. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me of my priorities. First, to fill my life with developing and growing a relationship with you, not with doing things for you or the church. Thank you for reminding me the importance of family. Lord, help me to keep my priorities straight. Amen. Very good. I have a friend that is joining a church in Texas, a small town in Texas. And uh, right away, the people there said, oh, we know just the place to put you for volunteering. And I cautioned my friend and I said, listen to what the Lord is saying. And they may have some good ideas, but you also need to be thinking about what your priorities are as well. So you can do a lot of good things, but you need to make sure that you're putting in your rocks first or your golf balls into that jar first so that you're taking care of the, the main things that you have in your life and then you can fill it with other good things, such as a Hallmark Christmas movie, or uh, the reading a book, or something like that. And I said to you just yesterday, I said, I need to maybe one night a week read up on things from the RV, not online, but I'm talking about going through the manuals so that I can, eventually I won't have to do that, but I need to get up to speed on the different things of hooking it up and the different uh, appliances we have in this RV. I think the most important part of what the Lord was teaching today is that if you let desires for other things or worries of life or deceitfulness of wealth or desires for other things fill your life, it's going to choke out the word and that putting the word in your heart and you can do that through reading his word every day through listening to sermons um listening to praise music yeah then your life will become fruitful but you have to be intentional for it to happen and you have to have balance true tomorrow's readings include from job chapter 21 and then we'll be into mark again with chapters 5 and 6. Can we say a quick quick prayer i'll go ahead and close this on a prayer thank you god for all that you've blessed us let us to see what we're really supposed to be doing in this world for you. May we please you, may we honor you, and may we take that next step that you want us to take. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Thank you.